Picture this, you're in your early 20s with a pile of money burning a hole in your pocket and then the next minute you've got nearly 500 horsepower behind you and you're having the time of your life. That's a pretty good spot to be if you ask me. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I've got a treat for you today as I'll be working on this 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray that the owner has somehow managed to get pretty dirty in just a couple of months, so stay tuned. Hey Mike, are you still playing Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, it's my favorite game, why? Because this video is being sponsored by Raid and I've got some big news to share with you. Ooh, let's hear it. But before you tell me, I was just thinking about how cool it would be to have a supper party with some of the Ray champions, like Kalia, Cleopatrix, Venus, and Queen Ava. Why those ones? I don't know. I love playing with them, and they look like they'd be good company after having a few drinks. Okay, Mike. Well, did you know that this April, Raid is going on an egg hunt for dragon eggs? Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to egghunt.playerium.com from April 14th to May 15th. Enter your player ID and scour the Dragon's Lair using your phone. You'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes, ranging from legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards worth $20,000. This event is for new players, but existing players can join in on the fun too. Just go to egghunt.playerium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. See, that's why I love this game. They're always bringing in new and exciting things for us to do. Use the link in the description or scan the QR code to get insane bonuses like an epic champion Drake and other useful things like energy refills, skill tome, and XP boosters. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the battlefield. Okay, now get back to the video. I got bosses to beat. Alright guys, well as I get to work on the Corvette today, I have to say that I am loving the color on this car. And it's nice to see that there's still some nice color options available on some vehicles these days. So props to the owner for picking it as a car like this really needs to stand out. Okay, working on the back now, and to give you some background on the car, it's very, very new, obviously, and only has 1,300 kilometers on it, or about 800 miles, and one really cool thing is that the engine is actually behind the driver and not up front. That's a change Chevy made in the 2020 model year and really made a big impact on the overall look of the Corvette, as it's now got two huge side scoops to get air into the 6.2 liter V8 engine, which makes 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Now you guys might have noticed already, but there is a bit of mud around the car, and I guess that's because the owner had to drive it down a pretty mucky road and almost got stuck, which I don't think would take much with this car, but anyways, I'm also expecting there to be some mud on the underside as well.
All right, well, grabbing some of my Mega Foam and my Foam Cannon, I'll get some nice thick foam on this Corvette, which gives me the opportunity to go around with my Boar's Hair Detail Brush and get down into all the crevices where my wash mitt can't fit so I can be sure I get any hiding dirt lifted out, and that's a pretty big job on this car today. All right, well, you guys might have noticed by now, but this engine bay is not as enclosed as other vehicles are. Uh, these vents here actually let water go through and there's there's actually even a little bit of a gap here underneath the, the glass. Uh, so what that means is that when I was pressure washing it, obviously some water would, uh, would have gotten down in there. And you know, there's just some drips and, and stuff. So I am gonna uh, open this up in just a second and uh, gonna just wipe things down in there and make sure it looks good. Okay, well getting to work on what's probably the dirtiest area of the whole car and that's the floor mats where some of my carpet solution, drill brush and pressure washer should take care of it pretty quickly and then I'll extract them a little bit later on to get all the remaining water out.
Okay, working my way around with the vacuum and I just wanted to quickly remind you guys about my quick fix series of videos. Every Tuesday I condense down one of my favorite details from the past and pick out the best parts for you guys to give you a shorter, more jam packed video. So if you enjoy the full length videos, then you'll love those too. Even Mike gets in on the action sometimes as he had a pretty big cameo appearance in the mouse infested Ford Escape video from a few weeks ago. Now you guys thought that was hilarious, so make sure you check that one out. Okay, next step here is to use my detail brushes around the whole interior. And while I do, I figured I'd answer a question I'm sure a few of you have, and that's how much does this Corvette cost? Well, you'd maybe be surprised to learn that the base models aren't super expensive, coming in right around 80,000 Canadian or about 59,000 US, but the fully spec'd out versions can run over 210,000 Canadian or 155,000 US, which is absolutely crazy. This one here, however, came in at 97,000 Canadian. All right guys, well that should take care of vacuuming today and I'm sure you can probably well imagine that it is not very easy to maneuver around in a vehicle of this size. Uh, I'm a pretty tall guy and uh, yeah, there's just not a lot of space in here. So uh, it's definitely something I have to be cognizant of today, uh, you know, make sure that I'm being careful. Uh, but anyways, uh, vacuuming's done and uh, I can actually skip right over the extracting step today as the carpets are in perfect shape. Uh, there's really nothing to do there. So uh, I'm gonna move on to cleaning all the interior trim and for that, I'm just going to be using a damp microfiber towel to uh, kind of wipe things off and then dry it with a separate dry one. And uh, yeah, they're really not uh, really not too dirty. There's just a couple of, you know, dirty shoe scuff marks uh, here and there. So yeah, just a damp microfiber towel will be the perfect thing to get that clean. All right, well, with only two seats in the car, cleaning and conditioning the leather today shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes. And honestly, overall, it's been a little bit quicker on every step today since it's just a two-seater car.
Okay, now to protect this beautiful blue paint, I'll use some of my graphene spray coating, which you can of course find on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. And this really is the perfect product to use on this paint as it's going to really make it pop and just look incredible. All right, well, as I continue to work on the glass here, you'll notice that not all of it is easy to access, especially the rear glass, so it's critical that I pay really close attention here so I can be sure that I don't miss any spots.
All right, guys, well, a quick seven hours later and the Corvette is looking insanely good. I gotta say, this is one car that I wouldn't mind keeping around here for a little while longer. I don't really wanna give it back, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and don't forget to check me out on other social media like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And as always, guys, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you in the next one.